name is Joana Fradinho. I'm a researcher at Nova School of Science and Technology in Lisbon, Portugal, and I'm vice chair of the Cost Action Purple Game. My main activities within this role have been the organization of workshops and training schools, um, and also participating in general meetings of the working groups uh, where we discuss different activities of the action. I also got the opportunity to participate in some workshops and to welcome um, young researchers that made the short-term scientific missions. So my main research is to do the development of phototrophic technologies that can be used for resource recovery, wastewater treatment and waste valorization. And in particular, I've uh, dedicated um, some studies to the research of purple bacteria for the production of biopolymers and specific polyhydroxyalkanoates, so PAJ for short. So PPB have uh, many applications, but I would propose the production of PAJ. So PAJ is a very interesting biopolymer. It can be used to make bioplastics, but PAJ is completely biodegradable. There are many bacteria that can make PAJ, and purple bacteria are some of them. And after we extract this PAJ, uh, we can make bags, trays, um, cups, plates, and whether we use them for single-use applications or long-lasting ones, we know that if by any reason it ends up in the nature, it will be fully biodegradable. So this is a very interesting feature, um, and PAJ can be a great alternative to the conventional plastics that don't biodegrade in nature. At first, it gave me the opportunity to meet and talk with other researchers that work with purple bacteria. And um, this was possible because I participated in some workshops and also in working group meetings where we are discussing specifically research with purple bacteria. Then I would say that it is also very important the short-term scientific missions. I had students that went to other labs. I also welcomed other researchers. And so I think this is very important for the young researchers because they can learn new techniques, they can uh, see how other labs are organized, make experiences they could not make at their home lab. And for everyone, it's a great way of making uh, networks of researchers, which is the best way to make good science. <laughs>